Hi guys, it's Primrose and welcome to the third part of uh, my houseplant tour and today I wanted to share with you the uh, houseplants that currently lives in the bathroom and um, this is the only window that we have here this is an east um, a north facing window so um, not the best lighting that comes through this window the only window that uh, the only time that it gets direct sunlight is in the summertime uh, around six seven o'clock so it's not that strong even in the summer and um, let's start from down here this is my San Severia black coral and I've decided to place it here so this is new and this is from my uh, previous video and I posted the unboxing of this plant this is my Maranta Amabilis it's a tiny plant and um, I am so tempted to cut this back already and propagate it but um, I think I will let it trail down because I have a lot of space down there and um, this is my pothos um, so we're going to go in the window area and this is my tradescantia I have been having trouble keeping this plant lush because of the heating in the winter time uh, a lot of the leaves dried up and um, so I think um, now that the weather has improved we don't use the heating so much so it managed to um, grow more leaves now and yeah I can't complain it managed to retain those variegations but hopefully it will put out more leaves in the spring and um, my fall unopsis that's been in bloom for quite some time now and this is my Spanish moss so down there I have this um, orchid that is still recovering now this is my favorite this is my San Severia bird's nest I love the variegation and my Hawaria it's been living in the bathroom for two years now and I think it's loving it here although it's not getting any direct sunlight it has put out a lot of babies and that's uh, the cuttings from Olga I do not know what I'm doing wrong but these ones are not doing well for me so I hope uh, springtime will bring more um, good energy to this plant that has been struggling and this is my Pilea Glauca um, it's not very compact as it should be and I think it's because uh, of the fact that it's not getting any direct sunlight in here but nonetheless it's looking lush and another succulent back there that's been struggling since I repotted it uh, in the summer and um, another San Severia a tiny one so this came from Ikea and um, I have kept the name tag just so I can remember the name and it's a San Severia Bacularis and it's putting out a lot of new growth so now that is such a beauty 
I totally uh, did not know how to take care of this one last uh, summer and I totally neglected to give it some water during the winter time last year uh, last winter so it was a bit desiccated but now it's um, start, I started to water it a bit more and it's looking so plant and it's beautiful and another um, Hawarthia and it's putting out a lot of uh, babies as well so this um, dendrobium here it shed all of the older leaves um, it bloomed last month but the flowers did not last very long and um, this is just a frond from a blue star fern when I repotted it in the summer. This one came off. So I've decided to put it in water, but so far it's not doing anything. But it managed to stay green. Um, it's beginning to wilt a little bit. And I'm going to swing you over to this side so this used to be near the heating system and that's what happened so I decided to move it here and so far the new fronds are looking better so I think this will stay in that space now and then up there I have a tiny propagated pothos and my new amaranta Alcarcoviana and another Sansevieria from Ikea. It's a Sansevieria fern wood. So these are my husband's. I let him put a little bit of the things that he likes in the bathroom. So obviously the theme is um, a beach theme, but I like my plants and it's looking like a jungle beach, I don't know. And then um, down in the floor area, I have this section here. And this is the Aspidistra plant, a very... Uh, a sturdy plant when it comes to low light condition and it's uh, fairly new I got this in October and so I'm still waiting for the plant to put out some new growth hopefully in springtime and my um air plant my dead air plant it used to live in that wood that I made and then um, a couple of calitheas that I moved here and see if they will respond to the higher humidity of the bathroom. And as you can see, it's not looking so good. And a lot of people are saying uh, it's the humidity issue, but I have that um, humidity reader here right beside it and as you can see it's um we have a really high humidity here and um outside the bathroom it's not so bad because we actually had to buy a dehumidifier because it goes up to 83 percent sometimes and um i've noticed that in one corner of our ceiling uh, we started to get some molds growing, so we switched the hum uh, dehumidifier and when it, when, once the humidity level gets down to 60, that's when we switched it off. So definitely not the humidity uh, issue. I would like to think that it's more like air cir circulation, maybe. Um... So hopefully, we'll see if it's going to get um, 
it's it will improve here in the bathroom as you can see that's not looking good and I love this plant so much and uh, we'll see and then up here is my philodendron um, heart leaf philodendron and another morenta the variegated version and it's been in the bathroom for over a year I get some browning tips here and there but I'm not so worried only because it's a uh, high up and sometimes I just forget to water it so it gets uh, dried really um, often it, got, it dries up and it doesn't like that but look at the vivid colors it's beautiful so that that's all the houseplants that I have here and um, I thank you guys so much for watching um, take care I am coming down with a flu I have a sore throat in my yeah I don't need to say more but uh, try not to get sick spring is coming and I'm so excited for my plants and for the warmer weather to come. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.